All right. So here is the next app in place, and this is we're going to look at an app here that Jessica will be demonstrating. All right, so she's going to she's going to demonstrate smart or she's going to tell you about smart recorder and then I'll look at the UI accessibly. So, um I found smart recorder and it was just honestly I was browsing apps and it looked like it had a good um rating and so I was like, okay, hmm, is this accessible? Cuz you know, you're wondering, okay, are these apps really accessible or not? Um I'm all about visually and um with text to speech because of Brandon, because I have friends that are completely blind. Like, okay, is this going to be accessible for them or is it not? So, this is, um, the layout is really basic. Um, it has a pro version, I do believe, but right now, I have the free version. Um, so, when you first open up the app, the first thing that you're going to come across is remaining time. So you can set the remaining time that you have. Remaining space is enough for 226 hours of recording at 22 kilowatts. Yep. So there you go. And then. Skip silence. Double tap to activate. Double tap and hold huh? to long rest. Um, actually, I'm going to explain that too. The the to add to that additional that what she just said um is that. In the interface, when you double tap on that, and it, it meant 22 kilohertz. We're using Samsung TTS here. Uh, okay, so, so that's remaining time. The next thing that she was talking about, and this is... Skip silence. Skip silence. Tap to activate, double tap and hold to long press. And we hear the prompts, of course. Skip silence refers to when you're recording, a lot of times you'll have these silence gaps that you, you know, people talk. You know, you'll be doing an interview with somebody, but they may they may be a person who, who has a bit of a difficult time uh, getting a sentence out or finishing off. And we've seen it many times in interviews. It takes a little while. So when they edit them in exactly. some podcasts, they'll actually... What they'll do is they will um, skip silence, which means let's take this empty gap and let's just not record it. Uh, pause the recording as soon as they stop talking. It's almost like voice-activated recording. And so that's what skip silence is for. The next thing we see more is a more options button. And if I hit that, we have a pop-up window. We have about app. Remove ads. Settings. settings. Help and feedback. Help and feedback. Help, help and feedback. So let's go back settings. to settings and see what we can change here. Settings. All right. Items one and settings. Navigate up. I have settings. in sample rate quality. Sample rate quality. quality but sample rate quality. Bigger rate means better quality, but larger file size. Double tap to activate. So I can double tap this. Sample rate quality. Showing items 1 to 6 of 6. We're using Voice Assistant on her Galaxy S9, by the way. Sample rate quality. Sample not rate enlist, quality. Not selected. 8 kilohertz phone. Enlist 6 items. Okay, 8 kilohertz Double phone. So I, I assume that this is in uh, uh, wave format that it's doing this. Not selected. 11 kilohertz. 11 kilohertz. Um, and then it goes selected. 16. 16. Selected. 22, 22, 32, 32, 32 44, 44, and so we'll select 44.1 kHz. There we go. Now we'll pause during phone calls, and that's off switch. Off. Now, you might not want to record when you're on a phone call from every app, but if you did, I guess, want to record your call, you could. Do not disturb. Switches do your phone to silent mode. Dur pause during phone calls. Off switch. Now the next one. Double. Do not disturb. Switches your phone to silent mode during recording process. Off switch. Okay. That can be useful if you do not want your backgrounds or anything else happening during a recording. So do not disturb. Uh, turning on do not disturb while recording. Uh, microphone adjustment. 
Double tap. Keep screen on. Screen. Microphone adjustment. Okay, so microphone double adjustment. Tap. I'll double tap on this. Adjustment. Navigate up. Microphone. Check. Devices auto gain control. Ag. Check box. Double tap to toggle. Okay, devices auto gain control AGC. Uh, you can turn that on or off. And check. And you can uncheck that. Not check. Which I'll do for the purposes of this. Mic gain calibration. Mic gain calibration. Uh, press button. Make some noise to determine maximum gain factor. Then press button again. So you can calibrate your microphone and it will determine the prop the best gain based on your background level of background noise. Gain factor. Gain factor. 1.0x. 1.0x. Calibrate button. Calibrate. Mic level. Mic level. Test button. Test. Double test button. Last item. Um, that's really all you can do in the mic settings. Uh, now I am going Navigate to have to do this because she's got her uh, phone set to use a different. All right, keep using gestures instead of buttons here. Keep screen on. Screen will be kept on. Keep screen on. Screen will be kept on while recording running and main screen active. Off switch. Okay, so that basically prevents screen lock uh, during recording. Hide from media players. Hide. Your recordings will not. Keep hide from media players. Your recordings will not be added to the library in most media players. Off switch. Double tap to activate. Now I'm not really sure why we would use a feature like that, but if you wanted to, you could. File name and title. File Double name and tap to activate. File name and title, so you can preset a title and file name for each recording. Location of recordings slash storage slash emulated slash zero slash smart mob slash smart recorder disabled. Okay, so that's the path where the recorders are stored. Crash reporting. Help us fix it sooner by sending crash details automatically. Effective after app restart. Off switch. Showing items three okay, to so nine. Crash reporting. Help us navigate up button. That's not in list. message. That in a nutshell. Alex, voice message. Record, so, start recording button. Record button, More recording button. Start recording button. so let's make Double a tap to activate. Let's make a brief recording here. Okay, I think I'm recording. If I am, hello. This is a microphone. I'm speaking yeah, this into is it. A test. And you are hearing it. Yes. Uh, Remaining time. Let's Remaining time. First see if, 013. Cancel button. Finish button. Cancel. Finish button. Hit that. Double tap to activate. There was a Hard pause recorder. button, cancel and finish. So now, Add. recording one, edit. All right, recording Select one. Play slash pause button. And Double now, to activate. We have a play pause. Okay, I think I'm recording. If I am, hello. This is a microphone. I'm speaking yeah, this into is a it. Microphone test. And you are hearing it. Message dispatched. Uh, remaining time. What? Nope. Remaining time. First Two. zero thirteen. Cancel button. Finish. Bu cancel. Finish button. Hit that. Double tap to app. play slash pause. And that's basically a little bit of the app. It's it's okay for uh, what it is. That is the okay. smart uh, recorder app, uh, and she literally just downloaded that tonight. So that was about as raw and uncut as you're going to get for a <laughs> recording app, uh, uh, Warren. Uh,